<laughs> but usually, I've never. Something I absolutely hate during camping is doing the dishes. This time as I was packing my camping stuff, I was like, wait, why don't I just bring my dishwashing gloves so that my hands don't have to get super cold and it doesn't have to get all dirty and oily. That's my camping hack. So this is what we are doing. Camp host so that we could just wash at our site if we fill up water. This is just a bottle of Dr. Bronner's, which is a biodegradable soap. You always wanna make sure you're using biodegradable soap when you're outdoors. Just put it in the Aesop bottle so that we have a pump. Okay. And just put it back into the bag. So this tarp turned out to be not just good for protecting our tent from the rain, it's also really good for keeping the heat out. Even if it's not really hot outside, if the sun is hitting your tent, it's really hot. And Navi is chilling inside right now. When I step in here, it's night and day compared to when you're right in the sun. <laughs> so with this coffee, it just smells good. As soon as you open the... It smells so like fragrant. This blue bottle? Blue bottle, yeah. Oh, you did get the... But usually, I've, I've never seen dark chocolate. really gross just happened. I went to the bathroom here at the gas station. Someone came in, took a poo, didn't wipe, didn't flush, and walked out. Oh. And I know she didn't wipe because I didn't hear her like pull the toilet paper. When I came out of my stall, I looked over, it was just not flushed. Traumatizing. 
Why do they make coffee mugs with like such a wide mouth? Not good for people like me. There it goes. <laughs> Danny, I literally just... You just called it. Canada, here we come! Hopefully we have an easy border crossing. are in Banff, people. It's been a long journey. I think it took us like four days, four days of driving. This right here is what I look forward to after a long day of driving, setting up camp, and just sitting down, looking up at the sky, enjoying what nature has to offer. It's the best feeling ever. I put both of our beds together and I pushed them against the wall so that we have this walkway. Before, our walkway was just right down the middle. All of our things ended up crowding in the center. Now we can put our bags here on this corner. We were also able to fit this in here, our little cabinet. Wall got on Amazon. It's such a nice handy thing for camping. Instead of having those crates where you can only access it from the top, you can access it through the front as well. So this is the setup. through this one, the pedestrian gate. <laughs> Nobody, every girl. <laughs> Today we are hiking to Lake Louise from our campground. It's supposed to be a pretty easy hike. I think they said 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> it's a really nice hike so far. It's like nice and paved and then you can hear the creek over on that side. <laughs> An hour, 20 minutes later, we made it from our campground. There's a lot of people here. It's about two hours right now. They think there's gonna be a thunder storm soon, so I think we may just skip out on the kayaks. We are currently on the side of the road 
waiting for our ride. I mean, we could walk back too, but our friends are already on their way. It started raining and we weren't sure how long it was going to rain for. So then we tried to hop on the bus, but then when we got on the bus, the bus driver said no dogs. Mr. Jerry has picked us up. <laughs> Ribeye with kimchi and onions and garlic. This is must be good. Mm. It's gonna have a wild life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I'm Good morning. I did not want to bore you with packing up again because I've shown you so many times. We're gonna head into town. I really want to buy some souvenir things. The weather is nice today. I'm able to wear shorts finally. Very rainy last night and so again we woke up to all of our things very wet. We're going to another town now. Banff was very welcoming with all the weather it gave yes. us. It gave us everything. I mean, are you ready for our next destination? Have you seen my tripod? Banff is magical. steam the milk. Coffee cheers. Cheers. Thanks for the coffee. What did you get? I got a egg salad sandwich. It looks like it's on a hamburger bun. Mm. It's really dry. very dry. <laughs> that was quick. It ran across the highway. <laughs> Look at her nose. She got her comfy spot. We are literally in the middle of an apple orchard. How cute is that? And um, this is our home base for the next two days. I noticed that throughout this very long road trip, a lot of the days just sort of became blurry in my memory. It wasn't until I started editing this video where I was reminded that we experienced so many different things and met so many different people. This particular ice cream shop really stood out to me because when we arrived, we were greeted by the shop owner who was super friendly. We loved talking to her and she gave us so many recommendations on what to do in town, including some of her favorite Vietnamese restaurants. If you happen to be in Salmon Arm, definitely come check out her shop. I got the orange sickle ice cream flavor and it was so, so good. Later that night, your girl decided to roll up her sleeves and cook a meal for everyone because I have yet to cook a single meal throughout this trip. So I made my signature Japanese curry. Um, and this recipe is kind of a cheat because I really just bought the Vermont curry in a box, added it into my potatoes and carrots, served it over rice and bam, a very nice cozy camp meal. today and headed to Vancouver. We just packed up, take one last look at this property and then we'll be on our way. Okay. 
Okay, look. So after two weeks of being on the road and eating very delicious camp meals, you know I cannot turn down a good cha cha tang meal. Our friend who is a local in Vancouver recommended this spot for us, and it did not disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really big slice of butter. <laughs> when I posted on my Instagram and asked for recommendations on what to do in Vancouver, Granville Island came at the top of the list. So we knew we had to check it out. We got a hotel for the night and we just explored a little bit here. I think the highlight for me was definitely the public market. It was filled with so many different types of food, so many things to choose from, and the weather was absolutely perfect. Oh, it's hot. Wow, that's so good. <laughs> As we made our way back to the US, we decided to stop in Oregon. I don't know if you remember, but last year we did a trip to Oregon in which my highlight of that trip was visiting the Snow Peak store. If you've never been to the Snow Peak store, they have a location in Portland and they also have a location in Brooklyn, New York. I freaking love this store. If you ever decide to stop by, just know that it's gonna take your monies because they sell anything from gear to clothing to pet gear to cookware, just so many different things for the outdoor enthusiasts. So just prepare yourself if you do decide to stop by this store. Not sponsored, but if you're watching Snow Peak, I love you. As we made our way out of Portland, I think we had about 12 hours to drive before we made it back to Waz Moms. So we decided to break that up in half and find a campground for the evening. Waz just went on Google and he came across Takanich Campground, which turned out to be such a beautiful gem. This campground did require a reservation, which we were able to easily make online. And once we arrived, we were pleasantly surprised by this beautiful lakefront view that we had. Once we set up, we started making dinner and and then after that, we just kind of enjoyed the rest of the night because this officially is the last day of this road trip. We had so much fun. I really enjoyed documenting this and editing all of this footage. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Also, please follow me on Instagram if you want to stay up to date on all of my adventures. I update my Instagram almost every single day. I hope this video inspires you to get out there and make time for your hobbies. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.